Hey guys, this is MacBook Gaming, and today I wanted to review um, software called Bartender. So if you look up here at the top right, um, as you can see, this isn't showing uh, normally. So we're gonna go ahead and just go to Arc, and then go to Bartender Mac OS. So this is Bartender 5. Raising the bar again, and pretty much you can go through, you know, these um, documentation. That's what I should have called it. But what I want to do is quit this really quick. So quit bartender. And you can just see it's just very busy up here. There's a lot going on. Um, all your software is just always right there. So the fact that you can just put bartender it just hides it right away and let's go ahead and go to, to the settings and see what uh, we can do here so you can start a login which is pretty much pretty good show hidden bars items when this is on this is on so if you hover over it okay so just on hover which that's nice Yeah, I actually like that. So, bartender settings. So when you hover again, it just shows up. Automatically re re um, rehide, yes please. Um, so you can change the, the icon that it shows. Choose an image, you can even import an image, but I just like it like this. Especially with the new, you know, you can just do that. So the spacing, you can also change the spacing. Um, screens, hide all the menu bar items and active menus items. So here, this is the menu bar items. So if you want something always hidden, it'll be in this bottom. Um, so if you want something to show, like a beam, we just want it showing all the time, then it would be showing up here. So we can change that setting, whoops. There you go. Yeah, there you go. It took a minute, but it got there. So I just wanna hide that again. So I'm just gonna go back here, always hidden. So even if uh, I have it pulled up, I just don't want to see quit all. I actually do like quit all. Oh, get uh, Logitech. So now when I even go here, I still don't see Logitech, even though it's on, you know, and you can add a spacer, a menu style, menu bar tint. You can change the color of that licorice. Oh, so I like that. You can do like purple. And then, yeah, I don't like that. So, very customizable. That's actually really cool. Um, if you want to add a border and then like border color, let's see what that looks like. Shadow. Oh, uh, so this is the border for this. Gotcha no border and this back to licorice and if you wanted a rounded bar and again you kind of have to rounded or just all Ooh. no that is not good but as you can see it's very much customizable <laughs> And, you know, if you just want it to apply on different monitors or all of them, so presets, you can automate some of the stuff. You can have a trigger to, to so this is like an if else, if show battery when the com condition is met, battery condition is met, um, setting, using battery, delete trigger, so you can just turn this off, show time machine when time is backing up sure show wi-fi when wi-fi condition is met sure 
hotkeys, you know, if you want to show hidden menu bars, so let's just say uh, start one. That's already a shortcut, so I can't use that one. Q. There we go. Okay, so now when I press this and Q, it just shows this, and then now I can just. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I learned something today. Thank you. And this is advanced. You can add more automation. Um, you can check for updates. You're up to date. Uh, license. And yeah, there you go. This is just a quick tutorial of Bartender 5. There's a lot here. But honestly, um, you'll have to just try it out for yourself. Again, I'm just using that... Um, keyboard shortcut which is honestly really cool but yeah I will definitely keep using this um, how much is it oh so the license is $20 um, you can buy this um, but I don't know why so if you want to upgrade to bartender 5 free trial of bartender 5 so you can download this for free um, there's also set app, which is a $10 subscription. You can get all this software for free, which is honestly makes needs a video all by itself. But anyways, have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one.